And good evening, folks, and welcome to Lake TV's coverage of live high school football, our final week. Basketball. Coverage. Oh, football. I said we just talking about Boonville football. Well, we you were. guys get the point. <laughs> high school basketball live tonight on Lake TV to teams that can score in bunches. The Boonville Pirates, the Versailles Tigers. This is your Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show. Tonight, Chris and I will get you guys ready for a big matchup. Tonight, Chris is going to talk to both head coaches. We're going to talk about some pretty special players. Yeah. Versailles has got a couple guys closing in on some school records. We'll talk about that. It gets you ready for what should be a very exciting matchup right here after this on Lake TV. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're right in the middle of our President's Day sale here. And what's that mean for you? You get 25% off all Slumberland low prices and we can do 60 month interest free financing. That's right, you get the discount and interest free financing. Other places don't give you that. Come see us at Slumberland Furniture at the Lake where we're bringing happy home. Sometimes we take things for granted but it truly is the little things in life that make a big difference and give us our best memories. At Millard Family Chapels, we honor and celebrate those cherished memories, no matter how small, because we know it's those special moments that mean the most to the families we serve. At Millard Family Chapels, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. And we're back on our Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show. Chris, we've got Boonville, we've got Versailles, and these two teams already met earlier in the year. It was Boonville's first game of the season, Versailles' second game in that Tri-County Conference Tournament. Boonville got the better of the Tigers, 89-85, to 85, but both of these teams a whole lot different at this point. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, and, and Versailles was just trying to figure things out then. They figured things out. They, they've won, what, six of their last eight. Versailles is the highest scoring team in the nation. Nation, yeah. And it's not even close now. Versailles averages over 90 points a game. Next closest is Hendersonville, North Carolina with 88 points a game. Two and a half points a game they lead the nation in scoring. And uh, believe me, Boonville knows that. It's going to be a track meet tonight. Yeah, and for th these two teams, their last matchup in the regular season last year was 116-99 Boonville. A lot of scoring. And then as we told you, 89-85. So both of these teams can score. I don't expect Versailles to be held in check tonight. Now, when you look at Boonville, they're under the direction of head coach Mark Anderson, and the guy has got an impressive resume. Yeah. Chris, he did a lot to turn around the program at Knob Noster, his first head coaching gig. He's had a couple other stints, and then he came here to Boonville, and in his third year, he's had some success, and uh, you got to talk with him just a little bit ago. So, Coach, you come in with a team. You guys kind of got off to a slow start, but you're getting better and better as the year goes on. Yeah, we're starting to play a little bit better. We've went, went, gone through a lot of stuff with, and I, I know everybody's doing it this year, COVID and injuries and everything else. We're starting to get a little healthier. Uh, we're starting to play a little bit better basketball. Picked up, picked up a big kid, which you know won't play tonight, but has, has really helped us too. So we feel like we're starting to play our best basketball of the year. Yeah, absolutely. A big Westlock kid who is a star in football. I think he's going to Mizzou, he but he's out tonight with an ankle. That's right. Yeah. So that, he, he sprained it uh, against Smith Cotton the other night in the first half, and so we're, we're taking it kind of slow with him. But uh, it's nice to have him back. He gives us something we didn't have. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You guys actually played this for sales team early in the year in the conference tournament and you beat him. Yeah, first game of the year, you know, and uh, I was going back and looking at it, you know, we were, it's, of course, it's what kind of what Versailles does. We were up 20, and then we trailed in the fourth quarter. So uh, you just, you have to play those kind of, they just have runs that are just amazing, uh, and you just have to kind of weather the storm sometimes. But they're play, they're a much different team than they were. We hope that we're a little bit different team than we were, too. But, you know, they're they're obviously a tough style to prepare for. So you were a lawyer for a while. I went to Mizzou, were a lawyer. You like this better, or you want to go back to lawyering? Sometimes I try to be a lawyer on the sideline and the, the the judges here are a lot are a lot tougher on the sideline I don't know why uh, no it's it's been fun I've always wanted to coach and and so I just it was it was great to make that move and I've never really looked back excellent coach thanks for your time good luck tonight you bet it. 
Man, that's greatness. Went to the University of Missouri. He double majored, including a degree in law, was a lawyer for 10 years, and then said, hey, I want to have some real fun. I want to go coach, and I'm going to teach. And I'm telling you what, he's enjoying it, and rightfully so. He's done a really nice job. And as he said, you know, we talked to him throughout the week, Chris. He said, I expected us to have a little more success this year, especially after the last couple of years and some of the seniors. They have a lot of great football athletes. Of course, DJ Weslack, you mentioned him. He's out tonight. I mean, unbelievable. He's going to play for Coach Eli Drink and the Mizzou yeah. Tigers, staying close to home. I can't wait to see DJ in the black and gold on Saturdays. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get him tonight, but an incredible kid. And there's other kids, including Lomax. I mean, they've got yeah. some big kids, some fast and strong kids, and four Versailles. Yes, they're going to run and gun, but they're going to have to find a way to get really physical in the paint. Now, after we return, Chris is going to catch up with Versailles head coach Jason Allison, and we're going to tell you about a couple of Versailles records that could be broken on tonight's broadcast after this. A move to your dream home should be exciting, not a hassle. That's why you go with the experts at Sunrise Movers, where we do the hard work for you. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. It pays to be a senior and shop at Hy-Vee. It's the Hy-Vee Senior Discount. Your produce, snacks, household necessities, deli and bakery, mealtime favorites, and everything else in between. It's the High V Senior Discount seven days a week at High V in Osage Beach in Jefferson City, where it pays to be a senior. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. I'm here to tell you about our off-frame modular homes. Our modular homes are built to the state construction and electrical code. They all have 2x6 exterior walls and are insulated just like a regular site-built home. Also, our homes are completely customizable from the floor plan to the kitchen, the master suite, and much more. As an added bonus, our homes are built inside a factory, so you don't have to worry about the weather affecting your construction time. When you're thinking about a new home, think Ozark Homes, making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offers routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. With multiple convenient locations, Our Veterinary is the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hey Jess. Yeah, Nicole. What do you need? Did you see that new listing in Sunrise Beach? Yeah, it was just listed two minutes ago. It has 150 feet of lakefront. And a brand new kitchen. I'm headed out there after I type this email. I'm on the phone with my clients. Hey, where are you going? I already put an offer in. Cash, above list, and it's looking good. Are you kidding me? Oh, gosh. And we're back, and it's our Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show. We told you about the Boonville Pirates. Now, how about these Versailles Tigers? Chris, they come in 15 and 9. They've won six of their last eight. That was six to seven before they lost Friday uh, in a game they lost by 16 points. But still, this team's cooking. Six of their last eight. They're in pretty good position. They got Boonville tonight, of course, and they've got a couple of games later this week, Eldon and Osage. So they want to finish this season strong before we go into that district tournament. They're under the direction of course most people know mm -hmm. head coach Jason Allison and this is one of the most unconventional styles of basketball you'll see at the high school level we call it disorganized chaos it's a ton of fun we love calling the games and we love getting to talk with coach Allison and Chris did that just a little bit ago so here we are with the best dressed guy in high school basketball here, Coach Jolly. So you guys come in still the top scoring team in the nation, and actually you're widening the gap. Yeah, yeah we were, uh, boys have played well offensively the last few nights, and uh, it's been good for us. You know, they're still having fun getting up and down the floor. We're going to have to put some stops together tonight. Boonville's got a good squad. Yeah, absolutely. And you guys played them earlier in the year, I think first game of the year maybe, and uh, they got the better of it, I think, by four points. Yep, it was a good up and down game. You know, we kind of had a little lower in that game and we weren't making shots and then we made a run at them in the second half as we 
tend to do, but uh, they're athletic and, and they're so physical and they rebound so well. And Coach Anderson, he's always got them ready to play. Yeah, absolutely. So what's going to be the key for you tonight? Uh, we're going to have to match their intensity. We're going to have to be able to get up and down the floor and then we're going to have to rebound the basketball. Um, and it's always nice when the shots go in. Yeah, and they got some big dudes too that's uh, a lot of strength down under the board. Yeah, they got good sized kids inside and their guards are strong. They're not as tall, but they're strong kids. And you know, they're going to they're gonna do a good job of keeping us out of the paint. We're going to have to do a good job of moving the basketball and hitting open shots when we get them. Coach, as always, thank you. Appreciate it. Man, I'll tell you, for sales, they've been playing really well. You heard him talk about that Boonville is big. But with that loss early in the season, Versailles is going to come out tonight and they're going to say, look, we want to avenge that loss. We want to show we're a better team, the Boonville Pirates. I think Boonville has another thing in mind. But when you look at these Tigers, they do it in so many different ways. Of course, the sophomore sensation, Ryder Williams, he averages 30 points a game. Chris, that's top 30 in the nation, one of the wow. top in the state of Missouri. Uh, and he is just 35 points away from hitting 1,000 for his career, which is very impressive in your sophomore campaign. Of course, you know about the senior Justin Hamrick. He comes in just, he already has the all-time blocks record here for the school. Now he needs two more to break the single season mark that Isaiah Ryan set. He has 74. Isaiah's record is 76. He's too shy of breaking the all-time single season block uh, record. I bet he gets that tonight. I would uh, imagine we're going to be excited for both of that those things and we're going to be excited for this matchup Chris because Boonville they haven't gotten the wins they felt like they should have gotten and coach said you know coach Anderson says we just have not played a complete game we'll go through stretches we look amazing and then we'll look terrible for a little bit Versailles is kind of the same way he talked about they were up 20 on Versailles in that opener and then Versailles led in the fourth quarter you look at the Eugene win for the Tigers in the Eldon tournament they were down 16 points with three minutes to go in the third quarter before scoring 36 in the fourth quarter to end up winning that game by 15 points. So these teams are both streaky, but they're both exciting, and they can score a ton of points. Now we're going to conclude tonight's Central Ozarks Medical Center pregame show. Take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll introduce you to tonight's starters. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high-quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same-day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. Welcome back to beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Hi, this is Greg at Cernak Yamaha in Osage Beach. Getting out on the water has never been so important to you and your family. With warmer weather on the horizon, now is the perfect time to get your new Yamaha Wave Runner or sport boat ready for some fun. Here at Cernak Yamaha, we've got just what you need. Our 2021 lineup of Yamaha Wave Runners and sport boats features sleek new designs and enhanced technology so you can enjoy the premium boating experience powered by the number one brand on the water. Cernak Yamaha has been family owned and operated since 1971 and this year we are proud to celebrate 50 years for job opportunities as well as recreation opportunities visit Sirdak Yamaha on Osage Beach today you ride on our reputation at Gary Sirdak you ride on our reputation you ride on our reputation most people don't know which direction they're heading when it comes to retirement whether they're still on the journey or already there, at SRG Financial, we have a process, the mile marker formula, that helps you pursue your work optional lifestyle so you can focus on what's most important to you, like your family, or checking off those bucket list items. Start taking the first step toward finding your work optional lifestyle. Call us today at 573-302-7212. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. And we are back on Lake TV. It's game time. Let's meet tonight's starters.
It is go time, folks. Justin Hamrick, he'll jump for the Tigers, and Jackson Johns, the junior, jumps for the Pirates. Officials are set. Coaches are set. I think Uncle Chris and I are set. Oh, yeah, baby. It's uh, Versailles looking to break a six-game losing streak to this Boonville team. Isn't that wild? Yeah. And Boonville comes in actually winning three straight, so they're going to look to keep that going. Versailles wins the tip. Here's V. Brock now over to Radcliffe. Radcliffe has Hamrick, goes to the rack, tough angle, not able to hit that, pulled down defensively by Evan Bishop, the freshman. And here come the Pirates. Here's Green into the lane, he finishes. Now Luke Green just committed today verbally to Central Methodist University, so congrats to him. A slew of players going on to play at the next level for these Pirates. V Brock now off the screen in the corner has Goliath for three off the mark. Chase down Williams tries to save it and he does. Nice job inside Goliath has V Brock outside the triple. Again, Versailles able to get the offensive board. Good rebounding from the Tigers early. And then a turnover for Versailles and here come the Pirates. Freshman, oh, and that is going to be a foul Ooh. on the play. It's Evan Bishop, the freshman, who heads the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. Hamrick was looking for that 75th block wow. of the season. That looked pretty clean from here. Although we're a lot farther away yeah, than we than are. are. <laughs> That's for sure. So Green getting the start for Westlock, who is out with an ankle injury tonight. Yeah, Luke Green, and a good start for him, like you said, starting for Westlock. And unfortunately, we didn't or get to Bishop, see him. Or Bishop, actually, isn't it? Bishop, the freshman. The start for West Lag. Missed that one. So Bishop, the freshman in there, and I guess he might be the guy starting for West Lag. Off the lane, nice finish by Vbrock for Sales on the board. Nice left-hand finish. Yeah, good drive to the basket. Versailles will pressure Chris. Boonville's going to have to handle the rock. That one's knocked away by Vbrock and stays with the Pirates. This for sales pressure is suffocating. Yeah, it is. And uh, they run all night. And the way they substitute, they don't get tired. So it's the same thing throughout the whole game. Oh, it looks like a little push off. Rebound by Green. Pulled down Goliath and Westlack both in there. It'll be a jump ball. I believe it'll stay with the Pirates on the alternating possession. Yeah, and this is not a tall Boonville team. Last year they had a couple of 6'3 guys there. They're not that tall this year, but they are big and strong. Yeah, Bishop for a freshman. He may grow a little more at 6'2". He could be a, a big guy here in the next couple of years. Yep. Freshman going to have an opportunity tonight. Green now. Little ball fake outside. Once what? Not Wesleck. That's Lomax. And he hits. Dewan Lomax, the senior. The stroke from downtown in Boonville. Up 6'2 here in the early going. Williams, the answer. Oh. Yes, sir. Wow. With an answer, averaging 30 points a game, and he is not shy when it comes to shooting the basketball. And nothing is out of range for Ryder. Double now, Green into the corner. Lomax, ball fake to the rack. Floater, no, not there. Bishop pulls it down on the offensive end. Nice pass inside, a nice finish for Green. The senior with the left hand. Green Six minutes with to go. Four points for Green now. You can already tell it's going to be a fast-paced affair. Hamrick from downtown, the stroke, and yes, sir. Eight all, Versailles ties it. Boonville beats the press into the lane. John's off the glass. No good. Here come the Tigers. Williams pulls it down. Wants to slow it down, reset. Now is V-Brock, Ratcliffe back to V-Brock, who pulls from downtown, off the mark. Rebound pulled down by Goliath inside. A lot of contact, no call, and Goliath finishes. Versailles leads for the first time tonight. Great job from Goliath. Got the rebound, took it straight to the hoop. Off the glass, no good, and that'll be a foul as Luke Green heads the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. You see the rebound here. Look at the contact, too, Chris. Yeah. A lot of contact, great finish. I tell you, Goliath is a, uh, he is a strong guy. I mean, he's not real tall, but he's very thick and very, uh, uh, very heavy. Free throw is good from the senior, Luke Green. I told you today, he verbally committed to Central Methodist, so he 
He's an all-conference and all-district player from a season ago. He needs to have a big uh, end of this senior campaign for the Pirates. Second one is good, so Green hits a pair. And Boonville ties it at 10. What a good start to this game. Three minutes in, 10 points apiece. Williams from downtown, a little shy off the mark. Green pulls down the rebound, and here come the Pirates all the way. Nice pass off to Lomax, Lomax and he finishes it. Boonville back out in front. Goliath now. Catch from the corner. A little long. Vibrock pulls down the offensive glass. Oh. Feeds it to Williams, who scores in the foul. Cole Vibrock made that happen with an offensive board and a no-look pass to his buddy, the sophomore, and Williams knows how to finish. Yes, he does, and trying to get the three-point play the, uh, the old-fashioned way here. Check this out. Vibrock knocks it away from Bishop. Did a nice feed. Free throw off the mark. Rebound by Green, and here come the Pirates. We're tied 12-all. That one's thrown away. Vibrock. Has it, Williams in the corner for three, splashes at home. Versailles with the lead. And the Tigers starting three of six from downtown. We know they love to shoot a lot. Nice finish all the way, Lomax. Lomax was seven already for Boonville. Yeah, he is a specimen. Vibrock, nice pass over to Murdoch, over to other Murdoch. Gets his own rebound, nothing called, and nice rebound pulled down. Johns now loses it and able to get his own loose ball. Fortunately, Boonville into the paint, off the glass, and good. Dakota Troost, the sophomore, nice finish. Really? Boonville back out in front. Really good passing from the Pirates in this first quarter. Vibrock from downtown. Short, pulled down by Johns. Here come the Pirates now. Lomax, pass over, deflected, picked up by Green off the glass, no good, pulled down by Murdoch. And here come the Tigers. Williams all the way. And it's an offensive foul, a late call. It's on Ryder Williams. Nice job by the junior Jackson Johns getting there and taking the offensive foul. Yeah, and that was a good call. It kind of took him a couple seconds to make the call, but I think it was the right one. Ryder just ran him Absolutely, over. Absolutely, yeah. Good call, and you'd rather him take a little time than get the wrong call. That's that is true. frustrating when you're on the opposing side, even if it is the right call. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah, because it makes you think maybe they were questioning themselves, yeah. So here come the Pirates now, a lot of contact. They're letting them play a quite a bit tonight. For those of you at home who can't see, very physical affair here so far. Johns, nice spin move wow. and finish. That is a tough move for Jackson Johns. Wow, that was sweet. And we've got four Pirates in the scoring column already. Williams all the way, a lot of contact. and. He'll head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. Will the sophomore Ryder Williams, who we told you, coming into this ball game, 35 points shy of 1,000 for his career. Well, and the first time these two teams played uh, early in the season, very early in the season, the Pirates won by four, but they lost a 20-point lead. Williams hits the first, and that's what both of these teams do. They're very streaky, and you'll see them score a bunch of points. You might even see them go on a little dry spell. Yep, and we've seen that from Versailles this year. Indeed, second free throw. Shooters roll good for Williams, and he'll get a break. Tyrus Allison into the game. So many options for Jason Allison off the bench. Yeah, yeah. These kids, they love this style of play. So he gets a lot of kids, a lot of talented kids playing. Nice hands by Tyrus Allison. It's going to stay here with Boonville. 2.54 left here in the first quarter. 18-17, as you can see on our high V scoreboard. Johns now will try a deep one and oh, hits it. Nice. Boonville, they don't shoot the deep one often, but they're two for two, so they make it count when they do. Ratcliffe over to Murdoch. Great defense here by Boonville. And it's gonna be check foul, looks like. Ratcliffe put it on the deck, and they're gonna to try to maybe start cleaning this up a little bit. Interesting after some of the contact we've seen. That was a little light. Good job from Adam Radcliffe. Kind of, uh, he was dishing it out, but he drove it down the lane, and that forced the foul. Good job. 
Silver sails now and bounds underneath their basket. Here's Goliath over to Ratcliffe. Ratcliffe to Tyrus Allison who pulled up from downtown. Off the mark, no good. Goliath gets the offensive board and saves it. Wow, what a play. Now Goliath into the deck Ooh. and he turns it over. Nice idea, just wasn't the right pass. And another turnover, here comes Murdoch back the oh. other way and misses the bunny. Still on the deck, Allison able to find, well, my goodness, finally a jump ball wow. is called and pretty interesting sequence. What did you call that in the pregame show, the crazy play? It's not the 40 minutes of hell, but it's like wild. Disorganized chaos. That's it, yeah, and that's what Versailles loves. I try not to say H-E double hockey yeah, sticks that's on the high school I shouldn't broadcast. Do that. Sorry, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Williams from downtown on the inbound. It's short, pulled down by Green, and here come the Pirates. Green now resets, stops the key, slows it down, deflected, and will stay with the Pirates. So active, man. These teams so fast. Woo. Yeah, good hands from Ryder Williams knocking that one out of bounds. Ryder is, what, six foot even, right? Yeah, and he's he going to grow. grow. Yeah, wow. that's what I was just thinking. Good no defense. one to throw it to. Bailed out last second. Colby Caton there. Caton's a starting quarterback on their football team. Yeah, he's a, another great athlete here in the corner. 4 3 off the mark. Caton tracks that down and turns it over. Hammer it. Oh, he was really pushing it and then turns it over. So. For sales comes up empty on that possession. Yeah, they've been uh, a little sloppy the last few times down the floor, but they get that way. That's part of their plan, you know, uh, running and gunning and keeping the other team guessing. Look at Goliath with the steal, the save to Vibrock, who scores. I mean, Eli Goliath is playing out of his mind the last two games we've had them. He's great. On senior night, he was rather impressive. Lomax now. And the lane, great pass work over to Green, who tries to tray, no good. The offensive board and put back, no. Pulled down by Vbrock. He's got Radcliffe great hands between the legs. Nice athleticism. Vbrock now to Justin Hamrick for three. Splashes it home. The Tigers have the lead. Boy, that wow. Didn't, that didn't take long, did it? For sales, they can strike so quick, but so can the Pirates. And they missed a bunny on their last time down. Well, that's going to be oh. off Lomax. Oh! Yeah, I almost yeah. gave it to He Bruneville. reversed that call. <laughs> Thought Coach Ollie might run by and body <laughs> slam him. Look at that play. That's unbelievable on our O'Sullivan Bruce Group instant replay. Not only the save, but a great pass. And then Justin Hamrick with the triple. Wow. Hamrick blocks, and he can shoot that three. There's Williams from downtown, and he hits it oh. for sales an 8 0 run. Here come the Pirates now, 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Jocks off the glass and great finish by Dakota Troost. Vibrock off the glass. Goliath with another offensive board, a lot of contact, no call. Stolen away. Troost all the way off the glass. Nice offensive oh. board and put back by Caton. Good job. Hamrick for three off the mark. So after one, your score, 25 Boonville, 25 Versailles will take this. Ozark Holmes, quarter break. Are you tired of the same old boring Mexican food? Then come to Veracruz Mexican Restaurant, where you'll find all of your Mexican favorites on our menu, including our signature burrito caliente and our wide variety of weekday lunch combos, all prepared with the finest and freshest ingredients. With a fun, family-friendly atmosphere, Veracruz is perfect for all occasions. Veracruz Mexican Restaurant. Stop in for a fantastic, authentic Mexican meal or call 573-378-5757 to place a takeout order. We're located off of Highway 5 and for sales. It's new. It's here and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it. Now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today. Available on the App Store and Google Play.
Man, what an exciting first quarter here from Versailles. We welcome you back to our game of the week, our first of two this week. We'll be right back on Lake TV Thursday night as the Osage Indians play at Eldon. That should be a good one. And this will be our final Versailles game of the season. But man, this squad's given us some really good games this year. And we're on average to uh, finish 100 to 100 and go into overtime. I got all night. <laughs> yeah. About a quadruple overtime to help the Versailles scoring average. Boonville now will get it to start the second if they can find somebody to throw it to, and Johns bails him out. Caton now on the short little jumper and gets the roll. Good start and a turnover. Truce pulls it down. We'll try the three from deep off the mark. Cole Wilson now with the rebound. Over to Reese Murdoch, and he has Williams from downtown off the mark, little shy. And I don't know if I agree with no, that. I don't either. When Reese Murdoch goes straight up in the air right there, he gets the ball. It's actually Lomax who comes into him. You can't really punish a kid for being that big and athletic. And unfortunately for Reese Murdoch, that was the case on that possession. Yeah, an unfortunate call for Versailles. Look at Vibrock. Oh, great effort, great attempt, and no one home. So Boonville will inbound it from the baseline down here. But Boonville, a good start here to the second quarter. Get a friendly roll on that 10-footer from Caton. See if they can beat this Versailles press. Had some trouble with it early, but they seem to figure it out and settle down here as the game progresses. Nice pass across. There's Hamrick's first block of the game. Watch out, he'll get another, and that's going to go off Boonville and go back to the Tigers. So Hamrick, 75 on the season, just one shy of the school, tying the school record for most blocks in a season in the history of the Versailles program. Ryder Williams with 13 points to lead the way for Versailles so far. Murdoch in the lane has Cole Wilson. Nice extra pass off the mark, pulled down by Troost. Had an open look, got to take those. Lomax in the lane, tries some English. A turnover taken by Justin Hamrick down to Murdoch off the glass and he finishes. Oh, we Murdoch. heard a whistle almost. Yeah, I did hear that too. Reese Murdoch's first bucket of the game. So Murdoch, a nice finish, and I think that confused a lot of people. Sounded like there was a whistle. Yeah, it did. It was probably just a sneaker on the on the hard court, but it did sound like a whistle. Here come the Tigers now. Wilson over to Hamrick. He'll try one from downtown. Off the mark a little bit. Pulled down. Look out. Here comes Truce. All the way. Stutter step and finish. That's the sophomore, Dakota Troost. He's looked pretty tough tonight. Yeah, he's already got six. And then a high errant pass, and the Tigers turn it over looking for Williams. Look how fast he's coming. Look at good jump stop there. Let's everybody run by and get to the layup. Marseilles now trailing by two. 6.20 left here in the second quarter. Bishop over to Johns, back to Bishop. Puts it on the deck. That's stolen away by Vibrock. Vibrock all the way. Off the glass, tries to finish. Can't Cole Wilson, the offensive rebound. And called for the foul is Jackson Johns. So another turnover for the Pirates. An offensive rebound for the Tigers. And Cole Wilson now heads to Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Strike. Yeah, Cole Wilson, a senior. He's he, given Coach some really good minutes and stretches really this year. Yeah, and last year, too. He, uh, he's been a really good player for this program. Mike got a pretty good shot from outside like so many of these Tigers. Yep. You know, well, everyone you see out here, we've seen hit a three in the last few broadcasts. Well, Coach Ollie's told us do they start off practice by taking about 103 pointers, so they all should be pretty good. No doubt. So Wilson gets a break into the game is Murdoch. That's Trace Murdoch, the junior. Silver so Sales sets up their pressure. Lomax, oh, Lomax looks to get away with a little yeah. walk there back to Green. Versailles now really pressuring. Nice pass. Wow, lucky. And a really nice set of hands from Jackson Johns. It was a nice save by the Pirates. Came right to Johns on a laser beam. He's got good hands and handles it. Murdoch now into the lane, back to his brother. Reese Murdoch from downtown. He's off the mark, pulled down by Bishop. They Here are come. not. 
Oh, wide open. Troost all the way. It's a five point Boonville lead. We haven't seen the lead get any higher than five up to this point in time for either team. Boonville did hold a five point lead early in this one. Great defense on Ryder Williams. Nice oh. battle by Ryder Williams. Baseline powers it up. 5-10 left. Williams got that look in his eyes, Chris. Yeah, he was not going to be denied. That was not an easy shot either. Great defense from Boonville, but he still scored. Down low to Johns. Nice pass inside. Nice looking design right there. That was tough. Some nice passing. Green finishes it on the little give and go. Green's got eight points for the Pirates so far. Murdoch over to his brother. Trace Murdoch into the lane. Nice, nice finish. Again, a lot of contact. They're surely letting them play tonight, which benefits both teams, really. They're both very physical, love to run. Oh, boy. All the way oh. low, Max, and he gets fouled by the freshman, Reese Murdoch. Boy, is he quick or what? Yeah, wow. that's senior Dewan Lomax. He heads to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. He is fast. So Coach Anderson was telling me they're in the same district this year with Blair Oaks and several other just powerhouse teams. Lomax off the mark. Yeah, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't look real forward to that. That Falcon uh, team shaping up to have one of their better program or years in program history there in Jeff City, man. Yeah, and who was that team that won the Eldon tournament this year? Fatima. Fatima's in that district too. Oh, and so is Father Tolton. Oh, oh yeah, it keeps getting worse. Nice take, no finish. Boonville pulls it down as Vibrock was trying to attack. Here come the Pirates now. Truce now puts it on the deck and he has Lomax. John's now in the lane. A little out of control, pulled down by Vibrock, and here come the Tigers. Good defense from Versailles. Tyrus Hollison from downtown off the mark, pulled down by Vibrock. Trace Murdoch from downtown. He splashes oh. it on. About the big guy with a big shot right there. How about that? And there's a turnover. Nice steal. Back to Goliath. Nope. Off the top of the backboard. Look at Murdoch with the offensive board and put back the big, unbelievable. And here come the Tigers. They lead 37 35, which prompts a Boonville timeout. We'll take this. Ozark Holmes timeout break and be right back on Lake TV. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it. Now, Lake Expo is bringing it featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. Look at this. Trace Murdoch, first. Bangs home the triple. And then after Goliath, off the mark, out of nowhere, Murdoch <laughs> comes in and unbelievable, yeah, man. That's awesome. That so was. he's got seven points now, Trace Murdoch does in this second quarter. 37 35. Little 9 2 Tiger run here. Now another turnover by the Pirates. Allison with the steal. Versailles starting to rack up the takeaways. Vibrock back over to Allison. Over to Adam Ratcliffe now. Ooh. That one's knocked away and stolen away. Green has it. Back the other way. Murdoch knocks it away and regathered. Thrown out to Johns off the mark. Vibrock saves it to Murdoch. What a save. He knew where he was saving it to. Yeah, this team has been very fun to watch tonight. Goliath over to Ratcliffe. Back across to Murdoch. Murdoch, what a move, up and under and scores. Welcome to the Trace Murdoch Show, ladies and gentlemen. Unreal, how about it, Chris? Nine points. Nice take and what a finish. Dakota Troost with the answer. You better start respecting this guy right here. Yeah. He's, he's liable to drop one in your eye. He's got 10 points for the game, six in the second quarter. Outside to Radcliffe now. 
Here's Vibrock from downtown for three. Mm. Off the mark, Goliath and Vibrock battling. Then Vibrock now in there and is taken away by Lomax, and here come the Pirates. Pulled down by Allison after the takeaway. Wow. Rebound, a lot of contact. Yeah. Vibrock now into the lane. Oh. A lot of contact on that. My goodness, what an effort. And that's going to be Versailles basketball. Wow. What an attempt, what an effort. Are you kidding me? Well, and Mark Anderson running down the floor to argue that call. He didn't think it was the right call. I didn't really see it. I couldn't either. Everyone's standing. I'm overwhelmed. The coaches are overwhelmed. <laughs> I can't hardly keep my... Uh, my breath here, Chris, this is unbelievable. For sales leads 39-37 at this point in time. A great effort. Versailles gets it. I got to tell you, Mark Anderson's over here just rolling his eyes. He couldn't believe that call. Murdoch now pulled down. Man, they were really letting him play. Yeah, they are. Here's Hammer from downtown. Short. That's going to be Williams with the rebound. Going to be a foul on Boonville. Versailles will throw it in, so Williams. Hustle in. Versailles has come up with four offensive rebounds here in this second quarter, Chris. That and the turnovers have been a big shift since Boonville just led by five moments ago. Both these teams doing a real good job with offensive rebounds. That was a makeup call there, I think. Well, all I saw was Ryder Williams just get pushed as hard as he possibly could in the back into a Boonville guy, and they call it on Ryder Williams. Yeah. So might have been a makeup call, but nonetheless, Boonville has the basketball now. Green oh, wow. in the lane. And they're gonna call a block of Justin Hamrick and Jason Allison now, not happy. The officials got some splaining to do, Chris. Yeah, they're, uh, we might need to take them to the eye doctor here because they're missing a pretty good game so far. But you know, you let it go with all that contact and it, it's gonna get a little bit chippy. So maybe they're trying to rein it in a little bit here. And both sides fans are very vocal and invested tonight as Boonville at the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. First free throw is good. The Southpaw, Luke Green hits that one and he'll have a second. Yeah, Luke a good free throw shooter. He's three for three from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. His second this time on the way, automatic. Hits that, we are tied once again. How about it? Great game. Silver sales now, minute 24 in the first half. Williams into the lane. Oh. Pulled down, Vibrock now in there. I think they're gonna call a jump ball here. It yep. is, it's a jump ball. That's the right call, stays with the Tigers. Williams talking with the Official on the uh, far sideline over here. So jump ball stays with the Tigers on the possession arrow. 116 left here in the first half. Great game, 39 all with a minute to go. Wow. Oh, he's rolling on the floor. That hurt. Yeah, he gets fouled on the floor. That's gonna be the sixth team foul on the Pirates. So now into the bonus moving forward. Just 113 left here in the first half. Versailles will inbound. 39 all, Chris. Yeah, Ryder Williams went down, hit the floor hard that time. Pulls up from downtown, Ooh. off the mark, and pulled down by Troost. He has Johns, he has Green, and here come the Pirates trying to break the press. They do, Green, nice finish. Pirates back out in front, 41-39. Vibrock into the lane. Wow. All the way, what a finish with oh. contact. 41 all, they're going back and forth. And an errant pass gonna be saved. John's able to pass it up off the glass, no good. Pulled down by Reese Murdoch, and here come the Tigers. Vibrock. There's a foul wow. for sure. Ryder Williams will head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Strike for a pair. Ryder had 13 in the first quarter. He's only got two points in this second quarter. Boonville's done a very good job in this second quarter of shutting him down, slowing him down. Yeah, they've played really close, really physical, and I think that Ryder Williams yeah. get a little frustrated. He's off his game. Great strategy. And, and Coach Anderson and the Pirates, because it's working here in this second quarter. Yeah, and he's also missed some uh, 
some pretty open looks from three in this second quarter. That just goes with the territory when you run this kind of an offense. You're going to go through hot streaks, cold streaks. And tell you what, if this first half is any indication, this second half is going to be unbelievable. Williams, second one no good. Green deflects it over to Johns. Johns, he has Truce, little Euro step, no good. Pulled down by Goliath, a lot of contact. Johns now, couple of dribbles over in the corner for Truce, who splashes home the three. A lot of unhappy people here in Versailles, but a big time shot for the Pirates. Ratcliffe now puts it on the deck as Trace Murdoch. Not a lot of time left. Here's Vibrock into the lane. That one's deflected, and that's going to conclude our first half. It's Boonville out in front, 44 to 41. We'll take this Ozar Combs quarter break and be back with your Millard Family Chapel's halftime show. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. To your dream home should be exciting, not a hassle. That's why you go with the experts at Sunrise Movers, where we do the hard work for you. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're right in the middle of our President's Day sale here. And what's that mean for you? You get 25% off all Slumberland low prices and we can do 60 month interest free financing. That's right, you get the discount and interest free financing. Other places don't give you that. Come see us at Slumberland Furniture at the Lake where we're bringing happy home. Pays to be a senior and shop at High V. It's the High V Senior Discount. Your produce, snacks, household necessities, deli and bakery, mealtime favorites, and everything else in between. It's the High V Senior Discount seven days a week at High V in Osage Beach in Jefferson City, where it pays to be a senior. And we're back on Lake TV. It's time for Millard Family Chapel's halftime show. And Chris, pretty exciting first half. Boonville up 44-41. But how would you sum up that first half? That was pretty crazy, wasn't it? I think Versailles did what they wanted to do. They got Boonville playing their game, turning the ball over, missing some uh, crazy layups and stuff. But Boonville's defense, I think, made the difference. Kind of shut that Versailles team down yeah. uh, in, uh, for a large part in the second quarter. Leading scorer for the game right now is Ryder Williams. He's got 15 but he had 13 of those in the first quarter. Only had two in the second quarter. Nine points apiece for V. Brock and Trace Murdoch. Trace really wow, had a yeah, good had second a quarter. Big second quarter. Yeah, for Versailles leading the way on the other side for uh, Boonville. 13 for Dakota Troost playing a really good game. Really good second quarter. 12 for Luke Green. We've got seven apiece for Lomax and Jackson Johns. But uh, you know, really good job. And again. Uh, Boonville has beaten Versailles six straight times. They know how to beat this Versailles team, and so far they're doing enough to have the lead at halftime. Yeah, and one thing we've seen is these officials are really letting them play. We are seeing a lot of physical play, a lot of contact on the way to basket, a lot of guys getting hit in the head, and they're not calling. They're not calling on either side. So at least it's consistent. And for Versailles, you're not really used to this type of physical play. You're running and gunning. You're typically not touched because you're beating everybody up and down the floor, pulling down offensive rebounds and putbacks. It hasn't been what they're used to. And then you look 
at Trace Murdoch, nine points in that second quarter, or 10 yeah. points for the first half. He really had like seven of like 10 points for Versailles. It kept him in that game. Neither team's led by more than five points in this game. And I don't know if that's going to change because both of these teams are really chomping at the bit. Something tells me, Chris, in this second half, Ryder Williams is going to have to figure out a way to kind of take over because that contact is really getting in his head. Yeah. He did not have a good second quarter after having a huge first quarter. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole Versailles team, they had several open looks from three that they just missed. Uh, Goliath had a couple of them that he just missed, and so did Ryder Williams. And, you know, in the second half, if they get hot, start hitting those, then uh, they're going to be awfully tough to beat. But I've really been impressed with the, uh, the quickness of this Boonville team and great defense. You know, they're, they're making it a little bit harder for Ryder Williams on the outside for the three-point shooters. There's not as many open looks for this Versailles team as they're used to getting, and they're going to have to fight a little bit harder to get those open looks in the second uh, second half. Yeah, Versailles went 5 of 11 from deep in that first quarter. They went just 1 of 6 from deep in that second quarter, yeah. and they also didn't get the same number of offensive rebounds. It was Boonville that was stacking them up. So this one is neck and neck 44 41 we got your second half of basketball after this break this has been your Millard family chapels halftime show sometimes we take things for granted but it truly is the little things in life that make a big difference and give us our best memories at Millard family chapels we honor and celebrate those cherished memories no matter how small because we know it's those special moments that mean the most to the families we serve at Millard Family Chapels, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. Welcome back to beautiful Lake of the Ozarks. Hi, this is Greg at Cernak Yamaha in Osage Beach. Getting out on the water has never been so important to you and your family. With warmer weather on the horizon, now is the perfect time to get your new Yamaha Wave Runner or sport boat ready for some fun. Here at Cernak Yamaha, we've got just what you need. Our 2021 lineup of Yamaha Wave Runners and sport boats features sleek new designs and enhanced technology so you can enjoy the premium boating experience powered by the number one brand on the water. Cernak Yamaha has been fantastic family owned and operated since 1971 and this year we are proud to celebrate 50 years for job opportunities as well as recreation opportunities visit Serdak Yamaha on Osage Beach today Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. I'm here to tell you about our off-frame modular homes. Our modular homes are built to the state construction and electrical code. They all have 2x6 exterior walls and are insulated just like a regular site-built home. Also, our homes are completely customizable from the floor plan to the kitchen, the master suite, and much more. As an added bonus, our homes are built inside a factory so you don't have to worry about the weather affecting your construction time. When you're thinking about a new home, think Ozark Homes, making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. Your furry friends are more than pets, they're family. And at Our Veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offers routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. With multiple convenient locations, our veterinary is the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Most people don't know which direction they're heading when it comes to retirement. Whether they're still on the journey or already there, at SRG Financial, we have a process, the Mile Marker Formula, that helps you pursue your work-optional lifestyle so you can focus on what's most important to you, like your family, or checking off those bucket list items. Start taking the first step toward finding your work-optional lifestyle. Call us today at 573-302-7212. Hey Jess. Yeah, Nicole. What do you need? Did you see that new listing in Sunrise Beach? Yeah, it was just listed two minutes ago. It has 150 feet of lakefront. And a brand new kitchen. 
I'm headed out there after I type this email. I'm on the phone with my clients. Hey, where are you going? I already put an offer in, cash above list, and it's looking good. Are you kidding me? Are you tired of the same old boring Mexican food? Then come to Veracruz Mexican Restaurant, where you'll find all of your Mexican favorites on our menu, including our signature burrito caliente and our wide variety of weekday lunch combos, all prepared with the finest and freshest ingredients. With a fun, family-friendly atmosphere, Veracruz is perfect for all occasions. Veracruz Mexican Restaurant. Stop in for a fantastic, authentic Mexican meal or call 573-378-5757 to place a takeout order. We're located off of Highway 5 and Versailles. It's new, it's here, and it's now. It's the Lake Expo app. You asked for it, now Lake Expo is bringing it. Featuring more news, more real estate, with more boating and boats for sale, and more of what's happening at the lake. The Lake Expo app is feeding your need to know. Stay connected to the lake from anywhere. The lake is always just one click away. Download the Lake Expo app today, available on the App Store and Google Play. What is COMC? A health center where everyone has access to high quality, affordable medical, dental, and behavioral health care, regardless of insurance or ability to pay. Offering primary care, preventative, chronic, pediatrics, and OBGYN. COMC even offers comprehensive dental and same day emergency care. A health center that focuses on every aspect of your health. Everything your family needs to stay healthy. At COMC, your health is our mission. And we welcome you back to Lake TV's coverage of live high school basketball. Not football, basketball. I get, <laughs> Although it's been a physical game. It does kind of seem like, uh, well, it could seem like, well, look at this. They're showing the top of our heads. Make sure we're paying attention. We're, we're watching. Hey, there you go. We're watching Still out here. Still have hair. <laughs> <laughs> Great a defense from Boonville in that first half. They held Versailles four points under their average. Yeah, that was impressive. Only 16 points for Versailles, and that's real low for them in a quarter. Yeah. Great job from Boonville on defense. Nice pass work. That's one thing I'm so impressed with is Boonville Pirates. Yep. These close, tight passes. Now they do turn it over there. They had 12 first half turnovers. That's really the only area they struggled in was turning the ball over, but everybody does that against this team. Yep. Murdoch in there, good hustle. It's a turnover going back over to Boonville. Versailles had eight first half turnovers, but missed a lot of shots, Chris. Yeah, they did. And Versailles with uh, seven guys in the scoring column in that first half. Boonville, six guys scoring. Lomax now outside over to Troost. Mm. Off the mark, Green pulls down the offensive board. Back outside, triple there and a hit by Evan Bishop, the freshman, and then a turnover here. Lomax the save, he has Truce back over to Lomax. He'll pull up from downtown and off the mark, pulled down by Radcliffe. Wow, what a sequence. Nice start for Boonville, uh, getting the Harry Carey into Versailles at this point. Vibrock from downtown splashes at home. That was a big one right there. Yeah, they need to start feeling that from the outside. They were very cold in the second quarter. Green now picks up his dribble. Bishop, freshman just hit one a second ago. Here's Jackson Johns pulls up from about 12. In and out, Vibrock pulls down the rebound. Strong rebound. Hesitation pass, back in, turnover, <laughs> Bishop with the steal. Versailles turns it over, and here come the Pirates. Green, sidestep. Offense a rebound, and then he walks with the yeah. basketball. He was mauled down By there. his own guy, though. That'll make it. It was difference. his yeah. own guy. You see Bishop nails the three. That so that's a, a great shot. call by the official because it did look like he got nailed. Yeah. It was his own guy. Therefore, it's a travel. Williams now looking to get going in the lane. Off the glass. It's going to be a block. Jackson Johns didn't like that one. No, he didn't. But he took Ryder a shot. Williams will head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. And Johns knew once Williams put that ball in the deck, he was not pulling up. He anticipated the charge and kind of sold it. There wasn't as much contact as he made it look like. It shows how good of an effort that was because it sure did look like by the naked eye that he got nailed. 
Williams gets the first one to fall and something for sales gonna have to do better down the stretch here is we've noticed have not had a lot of success from the free throw line and it's because they don't shoot a lot of free throws as a team. Yeah and Ryder needs to work on that too as great of a scorer as he is he misses a lot of free throws. He's listening he gets both of them to rattle home here and back to a one point game. Nice. Oh. They're going to get V Brock here. That's the call you haven't seen all night. Now that's been, that is a foul, no doubt about it. You just haven't seen that call to foul at all tonight. So maybe they're going to try to tighten it up here a little bit in the second half in what was a very physical game up to this point. John's in the lane. Nice play, little hesitation. Going to stay with the Pirates. Good hustle down low, and the Pirates will throw it in from underneath their basket. Man, looked like they had an easy layup and just kind of. Threw it around too much. What a pass. I don't know how they fit that in there. Yeah. Unbelievable pass. Great finish by Jackson Johns. Boonville up three. Johns with nine points in the game now. Williams, little step back off the mark. Johns grabs the rebound now. And then he's got his man. Here's Lomax. Three on no one. look pass to Truce. Wow. Up and in. Tough finish. They're so athletic. Nice pass. Goliath now off of him. It's going to be a Tiger turnover. Their fourth of the quarter after having just eight in the entire first half. Look at that. Yeah, great pass. Really nice pass. Yeah, Versailles looking out of out of step here. They need to get it calmed down. They're not hitting shots either. That'll definitely make you look out of rhythm if nothing's banging home. Johns, nice little hesitation. Wow. What a finish. Tough angle for the big guy, Jackson Johns, really coming on here in the third quarter. This might be the biggest lead of the game here. Seven points now. Radcliffe tries to keep him under control. In the lane over to Reese Murdoch from the corner. He's off the mark, pulled down by Lomax. Boomville wants to run. How about Jackson Johns for three? Off the mark and short Radcliffe now. What a pass after the rebound. Williams off the glass in and the foul. Ryder Williams. How you doing, man? That didn't look real promising. Once Radcliffe was getting ready to get trapped, he made a great pass. Get it in your playmaker's hands and just a tough finish. Yep, good right shot. There. And Versailles really needed that. And again, Ryder to the free throw line. He just hit two there a couple seconds ago. Needs to keep those coming because these are big points now. Yeah, big time here from Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. And Williams converts the three-point play, tickles the twine back to a four-point Boonville lead. So Versailles just won't go away. Low max now. Cole Wilson, nice defensive effort inside Johns. A little hesitation, great move. And that's blocked partially by Reese Murdoch, pulled down by Justin Hamrick. He's into V Brock oh. off the glass, no look. Cole V Brock, are you kidding me? Wow. Versailles, a little pep in their step. What a finish. And Cole V Brock really is the little engine that could. <laughs> he is unbelievably tough. Green now into the lane and a nice finish there. Back and forth we go. Four minutes to go in the third. A lot of scoring here. Here's Cole, Cole Wilson from downtown, and he hits. How about this one? The pace is picking up as far as the scoring goes. For sales' as press hasn't been incredibly effective here the last couple of quarters against Boonville, though. Great no-look pass. That's green, and that's Troost. Beautiful job by the Pirates, man. They are so good passing the basketball. Yeah, and they, once they break through that, that press, that was another three-on-one down low. Uh, pretty easy bucket for the Pirates. Yeah, they got that press figured out. You get through those first couple of guys, you create mismatches, and these guys know how to take advantage of a mismatch. Oh. Williams, oh, unbelievable. Tough angle. Can't believe there was no foul call. You got to get back and play defense, though, young man. Here's Green over to Bishop. He doesn't want it. Lomax now. Vbrock very nearly steals it away. His hand in there, then he does steal it away. Vbrock to Williams. Here come the Tigers. Nice look inside to Hamrick from Williams. That's an impressive, unselfish play. The extra pass pulls the Tigers back to within one. Uh, Hamrick with five points for the game now. 
Yeah, but V Brock has really been unbelievable here the last couple minutes. Yeah, he really has. A couple of steals, big rebounds underneath. I look I like that no look shot. That was sweet. Yeah, he's impressive, man. I'm telling you. Here's Truce now. Down to Bishop. Gonna be a kick on the Tigers. Stay here with the Pirates. Get another look here. Look at this pass. Good pass. Got the eyes of Lomax up and then just the rest was history. Ryder Williams as back into the game is Trace Murdoch. Kind of a slow night for uh, Mr. Hamrick. He's just got five points. He hasn't been on the floor a lot either. He's got that one block, just one away. Green now, floater. He's going to get fouled on the play. It might get Reese Murdoch on the foul. Boy, Murdoch, Reese Murdoch for a freshman. Isn't he impressive? Oh, Man. He really is. He really is. So back to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance charity stripe is green for the Pirates. These become more and more important as this game goes on. And green, he looked pretty good from the free throw line. Yeah, he is now five for five from the free throw line. 58-56, Boonville. And Green hits the second, so he stays perfect from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. Three-point Boonville lead. Radcliffe, nice take, oh. almost gets it to fall. Jackson Johns pulls down the rebound. He has Green. He's going to be looking over. Three-point attempt on the way, and that is good. Number 23 for the Pirates, Garrett Hunley, the junior. We are tied in the answer. Tyrus Allison puts the Tigers back up by three. Once again, they needed that. Good shooting. That one's blocked and Hamrick is now tied the Versailles record. That time he gets called for the foul. So I'm not sure about the score here. It's gone back and forth. Yeah. I think whoever's running the scoreboard tonight is struggling a little bit. I hope that's not Coach Warren Seitz over there. <laughs> it's the only thing that guy would be struggling with. That one is good for Caton. Colby Caton, the junior for Boonville, hits the free throw. And actually, Boonville is up four now, 63-59. Free throw is short, pulled down by Trace Murdoch. Good job blocking out under there from Trace Murdoch. Big rebound. Nice pass. Goliath back out to Murdoch from downtown. Oh. He's short. And Ryder Williams tries to save the three-pointer off the mark. That's where it's dangerous to be a cameraman or a camera woman underneath the basket there. You get run over sometimes. Unless you're Tony Williams, yeah. you typically uh, control the narrative he when it comes to it those out. situations. <laughs> Hard bounce pass, Green handles in the corner. Jackson Johns, ball fake, puts it on the deck. Floater no good. Loose ball pulled down by Adam Ratcliffe. Good defense that time. Williams for three. Ooh. Off the front of the rim, pulled down by Johns. Again, an open look, just not getting those to go down. Oh, nice. Nice swat to follow there and put back by Lomax. Six point lead now for Boonville. Goliath. Into the corner, has Trace Murdoch. He's got Tyrus Allison, who's short. Goliath attempts to make the save and cannot, so with 46 seconds left, Boonville up six and has the basketball. Yeah, and I don't know if it's the defense from Boonville or if it's just a, an off night for the Tigers shooting, but they've had several open looks from three that uh, they haven't been able to get to go down. Yeah, and you mentioned it, Justin Hamrick. We haven't heard a lot from him yeah. so far. There's a turnover stolen away by Allison. He's going to hit the deck, throws it up, and gets it to fall. And the foul. Unbelievable athletic finish from Tyrus Allison. That's a big basket at this point. 39 ticks left. I don't know how he got that to wow, fall. Wow, that was a wing and a prayer. And Versailles a perfect three for three from the line this quarter. And Allison off the mark. Almost pulled down by Ratcliffe. Colby Kate now. Wow. That's going to be knocked out and stay with the Pirates. That's a, I tell you what, this is probably the most physical game, basketball game we've seen this year. 
Colby Cate now in the lane, little spin move, great defense, but better offense. Goliath knew the spin was coming, but good offense, or better offense beats great defense every single time. Vibrock now has Radcliffe. He's got Goliath into the corner for three off the mark. Pulled down by Williams. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an and one. No, they're I gonna say too. it's on the floor. Oh, offensive rebound by Williams. And they call the foul on the floor. Wow, I, I was with you. I thought it was on the shot. So I'm gonna take two points off the board for Ryder. He's still got five points this quarter, 20 for the game. 15 shy, the thousand for his career. And bounds oh. Goliath and he hits the bunny. Nice pass by Vbrock. It's a four point game here. There's the pass, Johns. Last second, deep one, gonna come up short. So after three, 67, 63, Boonville leads by four, we'll take this. Ozark Holmes, quarter break, be back on Lake TV. Sometimes we take things for granted, but it truly is the little things in life that make a big difference and give us our best memories. At Millard Family Chapels, we honor and celebrate those cherished memories, no matter how small because we know it's those special moments that mean the most to the families we serve. At Millard Family Chapels, we believe that every day is a gift, and so is every life. Take time to enjoy it. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. We're right in the middle of our President's Day sale here, and what's that mean for you? You get 25% off all Slumberland low prices, and we can do 60 month interest free financing. That's right, you get the discount and interest free financing. Other places don't give you that. Come see us at Slumberland Furniture at the Lake where we're bringing happy home. So we get another look here, let's see. There's the rebound, the pass, there's the foul and they're gonna say no, the shot doesn't count, but I think that's premature, I think they, might have taken away a basket from the sophomore there. Yeah, good job from uh, from Ryder Williams getting that rebound. And uh, Versailles finds themselves down by four. Williams pulls the trigger from deep off the mark. Reese Murdoch gives it right back to him. Another try, this one off the mark. Goliath pulls down the offensive rebound and he's up. Another call on the floor. Another call on the floor for sales. Had two looks for Ryder Williams, two offensive rebounds, and they get a foul on the Pirates. So, for sales, really tough, playing hard. Here's Williams, another one off the mark, and another offensive rebound. Murdoch off the glass, pulled down by V. Brock, oh! up and in, and one. Four offensive rebounds, four missed shots, and Cole V. Brock cleans it up, gets the basket and the foul, heads the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe, an opportunity to pull the Tigers to within one. Yeah, and one of the Pirates got, I think, hitting the chops on the, on the rebound on that one. He was getting up a little slow there. About the Tigers on the offensive glass here in the first 23 seconds, four offensive rebounds. Huge. And ends with an and one for the senior, Cole Vibrock, who couldn't be any more impressive. Man, he's been great for this team this year, hasn't he? Yeah, you see where Johns took that elbow to the face there. Uh, go, go to the headset. Oh, that hurts. Flagger one, flagger mm. two. <laughs> Vibrock, free throw up and good for Mike Heitman's State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe, and it's back to a one point game. After Boonville just held a seven point lead moments ago, Chris, the Tigers will not go away. 17 points for Vibrock. He's having a great game. In the corner for Bishop, off the mark. Vibrock pulls down another rebound. Johns has it. And here comes Green. Pass to Johns. Three pointer off the mark. Pulled down by Goliath. Here's Williams now. And he's matched up against Lomax. He says, bring it, let's go. Oh. And he throws it away, Green now. Ratcliffe gets the swipe, what a play. Back the other way. Boy, we're seeing some great defense here on both ends of the floor. Man, what a ball game back and forth. I think Williams wanted a foul there. He's getting 
nailed, he's claiming. They're letting him play here for sure. Ryder's still putting him up from long range, and you've got to as a shooter. Murdoch all the way, big finish. Reese Murdoch, the freshman, and the Tigers lead with 6.40 to go in the game. Wow, and they've trailed pretty much the entire second half up until now. It's on the deck, man, versus Sales. Starting to force some turnovers. Outside, here's Truce. Three-pointer off the mark. Green pulls down the offensive board, up and oh. misses the bunny. Then he has the lefty and gets it. Two offensive rebounds for Green and gets the put back. Radcliffe skies to get it into Murdoch, who goes up and he's fouled. Beautiful job by Radcliffe to climb the ladder, pull it down, and then get it to Reese Murdoch. As you see Green back-to-back -back offensive boards and the left hand. So now Murdoch heads the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe for a pair. Yeah, absolutely. And he's really stepped up the last couple of minutes. Reese Murdoch, who is a really good young player. He's only got four points for the game, but three now just in the last minute. Gets the first to go, and now we're tied. It's worth noting, Chris, 6-13 left for sales in the bonus. The rest of the way, Boonville 17 fouls. The Tigers just three. They have a few fouls to give. Murdoch, that one's off the mark. Guess who? Ryder Williams in. Contact, no call. Gets the finish. The offensive board for Ryder Williams. He's got 22 for the game now. Green has Lomax into the lane. Lot of tall, lengthy hands. Pulled down by V. Brock off the miss. Then he has Radcliffe in there to oh, oh. Williams, who misses the bunny. And they're going to get Williams on the foul call. That's he the, fouled Johns. That's easy a shot Ryder Williams is going to have all year, and he he, I th he blew it. Well, Versailles real athletic. They were fortunate to corral a couple of those wild passes. They were really trying to hustle. Ended up coming right to Ryder Williams yeah. unexpectedly, and he does not miss those. Oh, my gosh. Not, not having a normal Ryder Williams night, but he's still got 22 points. I'd love to have an off night and have 22 <laughs> yeah. points. Yeah. Johns. Tough to the basket, can't finish. Lomax, the offensive rebound for the Pirates. Into Green, little floater. Comes up short, nice rebound. Pulled down by Vibrock. And then Green going to get whistled for the foul. And Cole Vibrock heading to the Mike Heitner. State Farm Insurance charity strike for the front end of a one and one. These free throws become crucial for the Tigers. This is where we're going to find out if this team can close out this kind of game. Absolutely. Because they can win this game tonight from the free throw line. Well, and keep in mind, Boonville's mi missing two key players tonight. Caden Hazel not here this evening, and DJ Westlock is out with an ankle injury. So Boon, uh, with Versailles, with the pace they play, might be wearing this Pirate team out a little bit as we go down the stretch. Big free throws here for Vibrock. Can he earn a second? First one on the way, and he hits it. That's a big one. You earn a second, got to hit that front end. If you're going to miss one, it can't be the first one. And v Brock with 18 points. This is probably his best offensive game of the year. That we've had. Yeah. I mean, and he hits it again. I'm telling you, Chris, but what he does is not always in the scoring column. This team is not the same without this senior Cole v Brock. Absolutely. And I'm telling you, this for sales team, they are going to miss his senior leadership next year. Lomax now. The Pirates down four. This is the largest for sales lead of the night. Comes with just 5.15 left. Lomax from three. Splashes it home. And Coach Anderson calls a timeout with 5.08 to go. Versailles, 73. Boonville, 72. We'll take this. Ozark comes timeout break. Hi, I'm Mike Heitman, your local State Farm Insurance agent. Please consider contacting me for any and all of your insurance needs. A move to your dream home should be exciting, not a hassle. That's why you go with the experts at Sunrise Movers, where we do the hard work for you. And we're back here in Versailles, where the Boonville Pirates pull to within one 
5.08 left. It was a big three-pointer, and right afterwards, Coach Anderson wants the timeout, wants to set up the pressure and see if they can't give her sales a little dose of their own medicine. You know everybody, don't you? You're just talking with the uh, referee there. You've been around an area in the Missouri Association as long as I have around basketball. Yeah, you know a lot of these guys. Williams for three. And oh. rattles in and out. Murdoch, the offensive rebound up. That's blocked, gets his own rebound, and good. Two offensive rebounds for Trace Murdoch, including the ever-important put-back and finish. Second time around, 4.45 left. Lomax now, unbelievable. All the way to the basket, off the mark a little bit. Does get the rebound. Good find to Johns, and Johns misses the bunny. Goliath pulls down the rebound. Here he goes, ahead to Radcliffe. Great pass to him and saved, and that thrown away and stole by Troost, and here comes Boonville. Troost all the way, wow. and gonna head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe for a pair as Dakota Troost gets fouled. Man, these just are not falling from downtown for the Tigers so far, Chris. No, they're not. It's been a cold night, but they still have a three-point lead right now. Uh, boy, is this Troost kid fast or what? Man, he's got some jets. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'm really impressed with Boonville's passing, their quickness, and how uh, they finish around the rack. And hard defense, too. Now, these are important free throws for Boonville as well. And I'll tell you, the senior, Adam Radcliffe, he's had a good night tonight. He's went up and got some big yep. rebounds, made a couple nice saves that yep. would have been turnovers uh, to keep his team with the basketball. He's had a pretty good game tonight. He's not going to show up in the score column, but he's had a pretty solid evening. Yes, he has. Uh, and, and he's been a good stabilizing factor for this for sales team. He's not scared of anything. True, second free throw, no good. Goliath pulls it down, slows it down. Now here's Vibrock, threads the needle all the way. And that foul. He did. It's going to be called on 15. That's Troost. That's going to be Cole Vibrock once again. Wow. Heading the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe, looking to extend to his big night. Yeah, he's got 19 points in the game. We're going to make it 20 and 21, maybe. Yeah. He buries the first. He's hit the 20 point mark for sales up four. That matches their largest lead so far tonight. Yeah, and V Brock is four for four from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe here in the fourth quarter. Oh, Ooh, misses that one. Gets his own rebound. I jinxed it. In the lane, out to Ryder Williams for three. Can't hit. Reese Murdoch pulls it down. He has Goliath as he slips and saves it somehow. And then that one thrown away off Williams. So Williams continues to struggle. He had another open look there. Couldn't hit it. Versailles, tons of offensive rebounds. Have you ever had one of those days or nights that you just can't seem to do anything right? You know, I, it's it started almost, in 1991, Chris, and I've yet to elude that it, happened. It's almost one of those nights for Ryder, and I say that, and he scored 22 points. So, but I mean, he's just missed so much, many more shots than he usually does. Oh yeah, but you know, if he gets a chance down the stretch, he's not going to be shy. I think he walked with the basketball. They're going to call foul on the floor. Yeah, shooters have to have a very short memory because as soon as he hits the next three, he could get hot and hit, you know, score nine points in a minute. And Matt looking for Lomax. Has it, look at Trace Murdoch. Great the defense. big guy outside, locks him down defensively. Truce pulls up, no good, and Eli Goliath pulls it down. Cole Wilson the other way to the rack. Oh. Up, can't get the finish. And then Caton pulls it down for Boonville. It's gonna go off Wilson, back over to Boonville. But I'll tell you, very physical by both sides tonight. And uh, some of the Boonville players starting to cramp up a little bit right that's now. That's Jackson Johns, and yeah. he's real important. They need him out on the floor. Yeah, he's getting a little treatment on the side. Cole Wilson, the steal, gives it over to Ryder Williams. Another turnover for Boonville. Cole Wilson knew what to do with it. And the Tigers, their largest lead of the night with 3.20 left in the game. They lead by six, Chris. Ryder with 24 now. Lomax inside. That's going to be a turnover. Pulled down by Trace Murdoch over to Reese Murdoch. 
He sensed the pressure and very wisely pulls it down. Dribbles through everybody, wow. it feels like. Out to his brother, Trace Murdoch, nope. from three. Off the mark. And it's going to go back over to Boonville. Ryder Williams went down. He thinks he was undercut. I think he was trying to sell one, Chris. Yeah, I do too. I, <laughs> I kind of saw it. I, I agree with you. Oh, well, yeah, he was definitely. So for sales, 0 for downtown here in the fourth quarter. Kate now has it being doubled, gives it over to Bishop. Bishop in the lane, has Green, tough finish. Nice. Luke Green, the senior, a big basket, back to a four-point game. Green has 20 for the Pirates now. Two and a half to go. Got to get Cole Wilson back in the game right now. Here's, sorry, Cole Vibrock. Cole Wilson's in there, the three-pointer from Hamrick. Williams with the offensive rebound, and he takes it to the rack, and he'll be fouled. Lomax with the foul, and I don't know. That might be number, oh, no, okay. I thought that was going to be the way he was reacting. I thought that might be five. That's actually his first foul of the night. Yeah. And we told you uh, Jackson Johns with some uh, uh, cramping problems, still trying to to work those cramps out. He's a huge player for this, this Boonville team. Meanwhile, Ryder Williams splashes home the first in the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Strike. That's a big one, 224 left for sales. They're up 79-75. Williams attempts to give the Tigers a six-point lead and does. Wow, Ryder with 26 in the game now. He needed 35 for what? To hit 1,000 wow. for his career. So he's nine points away. So a few subs, Cole V. Brock back in there for the Tigers, along with Eli Goliath, Tyrus Allison, and Adam Ratcliffe. Long one to Green, throws it up, tries to make the save. He does to Dakota Troost for three. Off the mark, not there. Pulled down by Eli Goliath. And then he gets fouled by Caton. <laughs> Far away from the basket. He didn't love the call, but collects himself. That's going to send Eli Goliath to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. And now they've got the score at 81-74. So for sales, up seven. Yeah, this is uh, the win with 2.06 to go in the game and the seven-point lead. The win is within reach for for sales. Have to continue to hit free throws that, here down the stretch. That's the key, starting right here. But Lyon hits the first. and. It's been a pretty good fourth quarter here for the Tigers from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. Thus far, they're 8 of 10 in this quarter. Can Goliath make it 9 of 11? He's off the mark, pulled down by Troost. Eight-point Tiger lead. That's their largest of the game. Just two minutes left. Green all the way, fouled by Allison. Probably a smart foul, honestly, yep. because that was an easy basket. Now, Chris, when you look at this for sales team, if you've got one knock on them, it's that they really struggle to cut off the basketball. Yeah, yeah. And so when teams start to realize that, you almost can go coast to coast and score a layup. And they've been guilty of that Ooh. all season as Green misses the first. Boonville now 0 for 3 That's from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe in the fourth. Green's first miss in seven free throws tonight. He's been, he's been awesome. Yeah. Big day for him. We told you he verbally committed to play college oh. ball. Missed that. Pulled down by Goliath, who has Williams. Goliath's got to have a 1,000 rebounds tonight. Ratcliffe into the lane. What a feed over to Goliath. Oh! Misses the bunny and able to get his own rebound now. Lots of Boonville guys back. Lomax in the lane. Vabrock with the swat. Back to Williams now. He wants to slow it down, then has Goliath in the lane. Over to Cole Wilson from downtown. Off the mark, Ratcliffe with the rebound, and they're gonna call him with a travel on that. Probably the right call. Yeah, he fell down after grabbing the rebound. They usually will call a travel on that. Versailles trying to call a timeout and keep the ball because possessions are huge. At, at first, point. a little concerned with the officiating, but it has been consistently letting them play yep. at both sides. It's actually ended up being a pretty solid officiated game. I know the coaches wouldn't necessarily agree in the lane, and that's going to be, oh, <laughs> Eli Goliath gets whistled for the blocking foul with 1.16 left. 
I don't know if he liked that call, Chris. I didn't get a good enough look. Uh, yeah, there were a couple of players standing in front of us, so we didn't get to see it. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, he was definitely he was moving. moving. That's a great call because he was sliding over. Again, good call from the officials. We never say anything bad about the officials. <laughs> And Troost hits the first after I got put on a six-year probation by Jason West and Misha. I decided I better start being nice Be and nice. practicing my P's and Q's. Well, you used to be an official, right? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I've been on both sides. I, I get it. It's the hardest job in the gym. The only reason you're noticed is if you're doing something wrong. Yep. Nice. Troost hits just second. So a six-point game, minute 16 to go. Both teams in the bonus. Radcliffe now with it back over to Williams. They want the ball in his hands. Ooh. He has it over to Radcliffe. Smart with Ooh. it. Vibrock good hands. <laughs> back over to Radcliffe and he'll be fouled. Bishop, the freshman, comes up and fouls Radcliffe. So see if the senior here, Adam Radcliffe, can hit a couple of big, big free throws for his squad. Yeah, it was Versailles that won the JV game earlier, 62-58. That was a good game. And coming up momentarily on the uh, Slumberland Furniture postgame show, William Holtz will have the uh, Jerry Phillips Movement Mortgage Player of the Game interview. Ooh, Ooh Radcliffe misses the first. Now, after I... Told you, Versailles was 8 of 10. They have missed the last two. Ratcliffe can hit this one, give the Tigers a seven-point lead, a minute two. Yeah, they got to hit Left these. here in the game. Chris, this is a huge last minute. That goes without saying. You see a nice close-up look at Ratcliffe. Oh, misses that one. Pulled down by Troost. He has Lomax. Lomax going to pull down from outside. Off the mark. Pulled down by Reese Murdoch. What's the call? There's a foul in the backcourt, I believe, yeah. Call a holding foul back there. 52.8 seconds to go, and uh, once again, as we've been telling you for the last couple of minutes, Versailles has themselves in a position to win and a six-game losing streak to this Boonville team, but they're going to have to hit these free throws. Big. Here's the freshman from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe. Murdoch, a big one there, and that snaps an 0 for the last three after the great start. Versailles is still yet to hit a three-pointer in this fourth quarter, though. How unusual is that for Very them? Very unusual. Murdoch off the mark, pulled down by Bishop. Good trap back there by the Tigers. Green now, all kinds of Tiger pressure in the corner. It's Troost off the mark, pulled down by Goliath. Goliath now holds on to it. He'll be fouled. 37 seconds left for Sales. Has to hit some free throws, and they are going to snap a six-game losing streak to this Boonville team. Of course, still work to be done, Chris, but pretty impressive way to stay around and fight tonight. And like I said, if they can hit a few of these here. Yeah, it's it's a, it's. A, They've got it one if they can hit the free throws. And Goliath was just there a couple of minutes ago, went one for two. I believe the writer Williams hurt himself. Yeah, Williams looks very. Oh, I think he's cramping. Yeah. A couple of players have been cramping tonight. Oh, Goliath misses the first. And now Coach Rollison calls a timeout. He had all five left, so that was just fine. With 37 seconds left for sales, leads by seven. We'll take this. Ozark Holmes timeout break and be back after this. It pays to be a senior and shop at Hy-Vee. It's the Hy-Vee Senior Discount. Your produce, snacks, household necessities, deli and bakery, mealtime favorites, and everything else in between. It's the High V Senior Discount seven days a week at High V in Osage Beach in Jefferson City, where it pays to be a senior. Hi, I'm Tyler Loftus with Ozark Homes. I'm here to tell you about our off-frame modular homes. Our modular homes are built to the state construction and electrical code. They all have two by six exterior walls and are insulated just like a regular site-built home. Also, our homes are completely customizable from the floor plan to the kitchen, the master suite, and much more. As an added bonus, our homes are built inside a factory so you don't have to worry about the weather affecting your construction time. When you're thinking about a new home, think Ozark Homes, making homeowners' dreams come true for over 30 years. 
As we welcome you back here, Coach Allison had to call a timeout, get Ryder Williams stretched out, and that's pretty big unless he wants to call another one and get him back in here, Goliath. Yeah. Free throw is good. That's a big one. Eight point Versailles lead here. And the defense making him run some clock there in the backcourt. That's smart. Oh, that's a no double. That one's blocked by Murdoch, pulled down by Goliath, and they're going to call. It's good to see uh, Jackson Johns back out there. He had some big cramping in his uh, calf a moment ago. So it looks like it goes out of play off the Tigers. Boonville keeps it here. Looking for Green. Ratcliffe very nearly stole it. Green will pull up from downtown. Ooh. Off the mark, no good. Johns, offensive board. And he'll head to the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Stripe for a pair. Down eight, 20.6 seconds left for Boonville. Yeah, and Johns with 11 for the game. And again, he's missed a lot of this fourth quarter with cramping problems. Really nice for the Pirates to get him back out there. And again, we've got the Slumberland Furniture Post Game Show coming up for you momentarily. The game winning coach and the Jerry Phillips Movement Mortgage Player of the Game interviews with William Holtz just a few minutes away. Can't wait for that. Looks like it might be Jason Allison, but couple of free throws here potentially for Boonville. You never know with the way these two teams no, play. You really man. don't. Yeah. And uh, the, and good coaching too. I mean Mark Anderson really a really good coach for Boonville. They make those final seconds hard man. And the first free throw for the Mike Hyten State Farm Insurance charity stripe for Jackson Johns off the mark. Boonville now just two of seven here in the fourth quarter from the line. Make it two of eight. Williams pulls it down and then he'll be fouled by Johns. And so 11 of 20 for the game are the Pirates after starting nine of 12 through three quarters. Yeah, they looked like they couldn't miss a free throw early on. Really struggling of late. Ryder Williams has 26 for the game. He's nine points away for 1,000 for his career, I think. And Hamrick tonight tied the school record for most block shots in a single season at 76. He had two unofficially. I hope I didn't miss one as Williams hits the first free throw from the Mike Heitman State Farm Insurance Charity Strike. And that was really a smart play because I think Goliath and Williams both came down with a rebound and Goliath gave it to Williams so he could take the free throws. Hamrick with the offensive rebound pulled up by Lomax off the mark. Green saves it, has it out to Caton and there's the record. Hamrick breaks the record in overwhelming fashion, blocking the three-point attempt from downtown. That's big. And Justin Hamrick, your single-season block record holder here for the Versailles Tigers. And that was a nasty one, too. That was pretty sweet, yeah. He comes all the way from baseline. Boom. I don't think so. That was a flying block there. No doubt. It sure was. Now, Green to inbound the basketball to Johns on the deck. Truce up, no good, and that concludes tonight's game. The Tigers in the six-game losing streak against the Pirates. They're winners of seven of their last nine, and they improved to 16-9. and nine. We'll take a commercial break and be back with your Slumberland at the Lake Post Game Show. Your furry friends are more than pets. They're family, and at our veterinary, we understand that. With multiple locations, we can service your pets when and where you need it. Our team of professionals offers routine wellness, orthopedic care from broken bones to joint repair, and even emergency services. We are ready to welcome your pet to our family with medical or preventative care. With multiple convenient locations, our veterinary is the team providing exceptional care for your pet when and where you need it. Hey Jess. Yeah, Nicole, what do you need? Did you see that new listing in Sunrise Beach? Yeah, it was just listed two minutes ago. It has 150 feet of lakefront. And a brand new kitchen. I'm headed out there after I type this email. I'm on the phone with my clients. Hey, where are you going? I already put an offer in, cash above list, and it's looking good. <sighs> are you kidding me? Oh, gosh. Hey everyone, Daryl Cunningham with Slumberland Furniture at the Lake. 
We're right in the middle of our President's Day sale here. And what's that mean for you? You get 25% off all Slumberland low prices, and we can do 60 months interest-free financing. That's right, you get the discount and interest-free financing. Other places don't give you that. Come see us at Slumberland Furniture at the Lake, where we're bringing happy home. And we're back on Lake TV. It's your Slumberland at the Lake postgame show. High-scoring affair, a physical battle. The Versailles Tigers come out victorious. Head coach Jason Allison. Man, that had to be one of the more physical games you guys have been involved in this year. Absolutely. Uh, proud of our guys for fighting through that because, you know, that's not always easy to play through. And, and we just put our head down and, and did what we needed to do. You know, big rebounds down the stretch, hit some big buckets down the stretch, and our defense got a lot better in that fourth quarter. I'll tell you, one big boost you had early in that second quarter, Trace Murdoch came in and gave you some big big minutes what can you say about him I had great minutes and he's he's capable of doing that every night you know he was engaged all night long and and came in got big rebounds for us got a nice couple buckets he even hit a three so you know um you know, he, he played a wonderful game tell you what you guys hit a lot of free throws in the fourth quarter i know you left a few out there but still big time job by your guys and i do believe that unofficially justin hammerick has broken the single season record on that last block shot and another record we're chasing or tracking right here is a thousand points for this guy our player of the game we're going to catch up with him coach congratulations and thanks for your time well. all right so tonight's jerry phillips movement mortgage player of the game one of the top scorers in america one of the top scorers here in the state of missouri and it didn't feel like your best shoot shooting night you were a little off still finished with over 25 points and a lot of bruises what can you say about that battle with the Pirates man uh, it was a good one I mean I look forward to those battles to get pushed every single time so I mean they're fun games man when you talk about lining up against some of those guys Lomax he was you guys were on each other all night he got physical not one time did you back down did you feel like you could take him almost every time I felt like I could you know, just get his feet offset and then take him attack his hips and get to the rim try to get a foul called so how good at this point in time? This is a really tough team, but you guys have a couple others. How good can you guys be headed into this district tournament? I think we can win the district championship. I mean, I think we're fully capable of beating every team in the uh, district, but so is every other team. It's an evenly matched district, so I think it's going to be interesting. Correct me, correct me if I'm wrong, Ryder. It almost has a sense that this whole team expects to win the district championship this year. Yeah, it's just the thing we always look forward to every year, and we want to accomplish that. So, I mean, we try to go for it every year. That's the sophomore, Ryder Williams. He will be our player of the game, I imagine, many more times. Ryder, appreciate it. Great game, brother. Thank you. Man. We'll take a commercial break and be back with the rest of our Slumberland at the Lake postgame show. Welcome back to beautiful Lake of the Ozark. Hi, this is Greg at Cernak Yamaha in Osage Beach. Getting out on the water has never been so important to you and your family. With warmer weather on the horizon, now is the perfect time to get your new Yamaha Wave Runner or sport boat ready for some fun. Here at Cernak Yamaha, we've got just what you need. Our 2021 lineup of Yamaha Wave Runners and sport boats features sleek new designs and enhanced technology so you can enjoy the premium boating experience powered by the number one brand on the water. Cernak Yamaha has been family owned and operated since 1971 and this year we are proud to celebrate 50 years for job opportunities as well as recreation opportunities visit Sirdak Yamaha on Osage Beach today Now we're back here on Lake TV. Make sure I'm mic'd up. Wouldn't yeah, that right? be my thing, the mic'd up thing? So just an absolute thrilling game tonight. Versailles comes out victorious. What our scoring look like tonight? Yeah, so leading the way, Ryder Williams, uh, your player of the game. Uh, you heard from him just a second ago on the uh, Jerry Phillips Movement Mortgage Post uh, player of the game interview on the Slumberland Furniture Post Game Show. Say that 10 times fast. 27 points, and he struggled. I mean, yeah. he's just a scorer. That's just what Ryder is, and he's just a sophomore, and he's just nine points away from 1,000 for his career. 20 points for V-Brock tonight. That's the most offense we've seen him score. He was really needed tonight, too, yeah. because it was not as big a night for Justin Hammer because he usually has, he just had five. 11 for the game from Trace Murdoch. Again, somebody who stepped 
stepped up, had a big night for Versailles that doesn't usually score that much. On the other end of the court, leading the way, Luke Green, number 10 for Boonville, had a really nice game. 20 points, he had 16 after three quarters, just four in that fourth quarter. 19 for Dakota Troost, 11 for Jackson Johns, and I think that was one of the things that really hurt Boonville in the fourth quarter was uh, Johns was cramping in his left uh, calf, and he was over on the sideline getting massaged, getting that worked out, so he missed a lot of that fourth quarter, and uh, the Pirates really missed him in that fourth quarter, so uh, Versailles gets the win. They pull it out. They trailed by four going to the fourth, and they get the win. Big time win. It's some big free throws. They left some points on the table, but as you heard Coach Allison say, he said, you know, I'm proud of them because they kept their head. That was a physical battle. Yeah. We saw a lot of contact not called on both sides, and especially Ryder Williams. When Sometimes when you get a kid who comes in and he averages more points than anybody else in the gym, and he's able to create space and kind of do what he wants to against anybody, he sometimes gets picked on. Yeah. And it's not by fault. You just expect him to do great things, and so you sometimes don't get the calls he fought through it, finished with 27, and Versailles gets a huge win. They've won seven of their last nine. They got some big time games coming up. It seems like with Friday and Saturday, they've got Eldon on Friday, Osage on Saturday, wow. and then of course the 28th through the fourth of the February 28th, Monday through the fourth of March. That Friday, that uh, Class Four District 10 tournament includes California, Osage, Eldon, and this Versailles Tigers team. That should be a really good one. All of the local teams playing pretty good, pretty competitively, including Eldon. We saw them against California. Yeah. You had that call Friday night. I mean, this district is really good, and any of these teams can make a run and win a district championship. I'll be excited to see that. I feel bad for Boonville because they got a pretty decent team. Not a great team, but, you know, but they're in a, a district this year. There's no way in heck they're going to win that district, and whoever wins that district is probably going to the Final Four and might have a chance to win the state this year. Yeah, and I honestly, I wouldn't even say that Boonville doesn't have that great of a team because the way those guys pass the basketball, yeah. some of those design plays on the cuts and the windows they fit, like Kurt Warner was out there with that precision, just fitting it through little areas, and they were able to convert. And, that goes a long way. And keep in mind they were missing a couple of players tonight, too, including their big stud, uh, Westlack. I wouldn't want this Boonville team if they come in 100% healthy, yeah. especially with D.J. Westlack on the floor. Next time you'll get to see him, it's going to be on Saturdays playing football for the from University Mizzou. of Missouri. Yeah. So time to be a DJ Westlack fan. Baby. There you go. All right. So big shout out to all of our amazing crew tonight. We thank you guys for tuning in. We'll be back at it Thursday night with Osage at Eldon. We'll tip off with our pregame show at about 7, 7, 15. And then, of course, that'll be our final broadcast of the season. Until then, my friends, good night and God bless.